and welcome back to, I think it's the fourth episode of um, my Roblox series, um, in which I'm trying to get to grips with um, Roblox, with the aim of actually creating a game that I'm able to uh, put on Roblox for my daughter to play. That's the, the goal of this. Um, but to do this, I'm working through uh, the Roblox tutorials, and I might then start working through some of the other tutorials other people have put um have uploaded onto the internet and we'll see how we go but right now i'm still on the roblox tutorials and today it's number four so let's have a look um clicking on the tutorials it's we've made a tree we've made a door we made a building and now it's making a windmill okay so let me stop running this um this test you can see the windmill here um on the left so okay it says in this tutorial we will be using welds and a motor to make a working windmill okay step number one insert a new part for the pole of the windmill and make it narrow and tall so we go to the home tab go to the parts drop down pick a block bring it towards me um mess around with the view like normal Again, if you select it and press F, you can sort of recenter everything, which helps me a lot of the time. Okay, so let's just make it four, four um, studs, two by two. So let's scale it down, like so, and then scale it up. <clears throat> okay. Okay, that's tall enough. No, maybe it's not. Okay, that's tall enough. Next, insert a part, it says, which we will use as the shaft of the windmill. It should be a small, almost square box. Eventually, it will be moved next to the top of the pole, but for now, use the move tool to keep it suspended in midair. So, another part, which will pop here then. Um, suspended in midair. Let's make it um, more square shaped. So they've got a three by four here. So we've got a two by four. So let's bring a bit bigger. And they look like, oh, in terms of, it's a, like so. That looks pretty much it. Okay. Click on the surface tool and select motor. Now, surface tool, I think, is where? It's in the models tab. And the drop down right at the bottom is motor. Okay, so we, oh, we've got it here, motor. Um, then click on one of the sides of the shaft. You will see a small axle sticking out from the sides of the part that will be what turns the windmill. So if we, yeah, there you can see it really closely. That's the, the bit that's going to enable the windmill to turn. Brilliant. Okay, move the part next to the pole so that the axle goes into the pole. So let's go back into the home tab, the move tab. Um, It's the worst bit for me is just navigating my way around here. I don't move, so we've got like that. Up, across. They've done it right up the top. Roughly like that. Now we're getting that. A bit further. That looks about right, and then across. Whoa, okay. I think that looks right. Okay. Now it says click on the surface tool again, and this time, so back into model, back into surface. Um, this time select add weld. Then click on the four outer sides of the shaft. These welds will be used to hold the veins in place. 
So one, two, three, four. So just left click in there. Okay, we've got some welds there. Um, like so. Now insert a new part and use the scale tool to make it long and thin. It'll be one of the windmill's veins. Move it so it's on the top of the shaft. So back onto home, power, block. Oh, I'm still welding. Which we don't want to do. So let's go back into surface. Click off, weld, come back. Let's just move you for there a minute and scale you. So it's four. That looks okay, actually. Scroll out a bit. So let's move you up. Oops. Screen's not big enough for me. Well, that looks like it there. Okay, that looks pretty much right. What does it say? Insert a new part and use the scale tool to make it long and thin. Move it so it's on top of the shaft. So I just move it down then. Like so. Uh, copy and paste the vein and then move it underneath and put it on this. Basically, let's create the, um, just create the other, the, the other four sides. I think I'm minding these going to need to be a bit smaller because my windmill is not as tall as it should be. So we'll just make this one a little windmill. Okay, so copy, paste. We'll paste another one. And we'll paste another one. So they're my three sides. So this is the bottom one. It needs to... And a side one. I will take it's rotated um not that way. That's it. Move it. It's a bit wonky. Rotate it again. This is probably the, the bit I've learned the most is just the fiddliness of it all. Always lining up, moving around, lining up. That looks right. Um, oops. What's the one we want? Could be roughly it. Oh, I thought we'd crash then. Uh, nearly there. So drop down a bit. <laughs> Looks a little... Oh, that's not too bad, actually. Okay. Um, 
you know, I mean, I'm assuming. It's all joined together. I don't need to anchor it or something. That the well does that. I... Just lining this up a bit better. Um... I mean, is that all you need to do is do the weld and, and do the, um, what was the other thing we used? The motor. So these are welded to the shaft. The, mo the shaft itself is um, motorized and attached to the 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 pole, the main the main bit. Um, I'm gonna anchor that to the ground just in case. I think it's all we can do is try do a test. <clears throat> Um, I can see something on the floor, but I can also see something moving. So let's have a look. Once she can, she can't move yet. Right now she can. Ah, well, we've got two bits. We're okay. The other two bits went flying. Right, what went wrong? I suspect it's these side ones. Because there's a little gap there. So let's have another look. Oh, I don't know. What I don't know is how you can tell if something is attached enough. I, that does a little black. I can see a little black light, which doesn't come up on that one. So, maybe something that's got to be more in the middle. I move it down a tad. I, perhaps I can even try the scale. No. I seem to have sorted it out in that I basically, um, I think I've sorted it out then. You have to, looking at these, I think I'm right, in that you have to, when you attach them, see that little, um, if I go, do it again. See that little black well? There you are, up here. And if we do it on the other side, you see it. There you are, up here. So, and I think the other thing I need to do is just make sure these are all roughly the same size. Um, that one still looks a bit big. On a bit thick, actually. Okay. And I think we need to bring it, the side one, to the end, so it's the same. So, that looks like a windmill. Let's have another go. Oh, that's a good sign. Nothing on the ground. See some shadows. Right. Can you move yet? Yes, you can. Let's have a look. Yay! Looks like a proper windmill. A proper windmill. Hang on. 
that is right got it oh look at that yay we have a moving windmill that's awesome so so look at it from this angle oh, she can stand proud in front of it so we have now made a door um a tree a building and a windmill um are these the the, the parts of a, a an absolutely addictive game i don't know a door building a windmill and a tree well it's all important scene stuff at least and i guess the mechanics might be useful in a game um we get in there so if i just stop the the test a moment um and let's have a look to see what we'll be making in the next episode a river okay yeah more um scene stuff what else is coming up then a car then a conveyor then a campfire a painting and then it says see all tutorials i don't know if there's any others so um a river yeah it'd be nice to do some sort of um, the scenery setting stuff as well actually in terms of the landscaping and a car that will be interesting and a conveyor they definitely feel like things that could be used in a game um and a campfire of painting they, they seem more decorative but again we'll learn things about the roblox engine when we do it so yes i think we get in there but today we have a windmill okay thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next episode bye <laughs>